Welcome back to the Senior Hour. I'm Dr. Gene Dorio on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. And our next guest is Kim Wall, who is an alternative medicine advocate. And where's your little grandbaby? Well, if you know anything about children, <laughs> yes. we all became chopped liver when Uncle Tim was at the house. Um, he's restoring an airstream in my backyard at the moment. So we all became chopped liver and became second notch. So she decided to stay home oh. with Uncle Tim, and um, but she sends her love. Very we'll good. Miss her. Very good. Yeah, yes, we, we miss will. her. She usually sits in that little chair. Nobody would know there's a three-year-old sitting in the sound booth with us. That's true. That's true. Except last time, she got a little bit noisy. It was the time before. Because she, oh, was the, the, yeah, time the time before. Because she got the right. finger. <laughs> That's right. Because I gave her the finger too. Not that finger, did. everybody. No, the mama finger. Everybody yes. knows right. the mama finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the one next door. <laughs> good morning, guys. Or afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Good. No, it's good morning. It's still. still morning All yes right. so far yes so far thank goodness time seems to fly it does whether you're having fun or not <laughs> why don't we I, you know i'm not sure what you want to talk about but let's well i yeah, brought we this could stuff talk. after last month good, i brought good, this good. stuff on the addiction i brought this stuff on the mood the stress Perfect. and the anxiety so i brought um i have 12 bottles four of each and the smoking one only because of the fires out here i thought somebody had some irritation oh, gosh. but yes. yeah so anyways i brought those if um we can try them or if somebody wants to do you know a little trial in the in the in the um radio station and then I also brought the form for the Bach flower that I thought I will leave that in, in an article on anxiety and depression that people could read about and if they'd like to try the Bach flowers I'll leave the uh, the questionnaire here and all somebody has to do is come fill it out que the questionnaire and mm -hmm email it to me and I will bring a bottle next month for and anybody our, that'd like to try that. And right now our listeners, are, their heads are in a whirl right now because you've thrown out all these terms, all these little things that you've brought in and, you know, forms that you can fill out. But, you know, let's talk about the, in some of the individual things that we had talked about uh, before, like anxiety, especially okay. related to our seniors because they're, you know, Arif was on the show a moment ago and we talked about the financial anxiety that people, our seniors constantly face. I mean, it's rare that I don't find someone in our community that is saying, you know, I don't, my nest egg is gone and I'm, you know, very troubled, but they get worried about that mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it affects them physically in the long run. So wh what is it that, you know, some of the things, you know, we can talk about simple things by having purpose. We've done that in the first half of the show with, with Era, but what about Kim? You know, the medically, physical. the physiologic part of, of dealing with it for well, you know, seniors. interesting enough, one of the biggest things that, um, when you look at constant just wear on a human being in our society today through diet and again looking at minerals and nutrients that we take in and, and, and don't take in because it's not in our foods, a lot of people are magnesium deficient. Mm -hmm. and magnesium is a huge one because it affects over 350 body functions. And most people, a couple nights of insomnia and your magnesium drops. But it, interesting, most people are insom have insomnia because their magnesium is low. But it deals with anxiety. It deals with blood pressure. It deals with um, relaxing of the muscles. So when people have that restless leg or that, or that cramping at night, um, or think about blood pressure, tightening of the arteries, that whole body's tense, people are holding it in, that stress, that anxiety, maybe not sharing or doing or personality. Mm -hmm. It's good to always channel it outward. But you realize that that burns certain minerals and certain things in the body and if we're not getting that in then we start to develop well I have restless leg well here's something for that well now I have this well that was an original symptom that your body's saying hey my magnesium's low and, mm -hmm. and people kidney stones like I said blood pressure certain dis-ease in the body is associated with just magnesium deficiency mm -hmm. so something as simple as adding some magnesium into the diet, which can I, I do it myself. We do it in my household. I even give it to my granddaughter sometimes when she's a little stressed. Um, it's a powder. I put it in a cup of tea, and I drink mm -hmm. it at night, and it relaxes. It, it knocks me out. Um, but it, you can use it for constipation. So if people are out there, and let's say they're taking medications that are, that are constipating or affecting the bowels, <coughs> that's going to add toxicity to the system, which is going to stress the body on a physical level. You're talking about stress in a financial on an, an external level. Mm -hmm. So can that body process that? So if we've got stress at both sides, we're going to have a body that's 
going to fail. Mm -hmm. So looking at the magnesium, uh, the magnesium to calm the system, looking yeah. at your good fats, mm -hmm. you know, again, it grounds the brain, it relaxes, it cools the body down. Good fats like hemp oil or um, flaxseed oil, depending on blood type, there's, there's certain ones that are specifically awesome for you. Charlotte's Web. <laughs> yep. That one too. I take that every That day. one too. Because again, if we look at the receptors in our brain as an example, the brain's 80% fat. So we've got to have good fats. Where do we get good fat from our diet? Just look at that in your life. Where do you get good fat? Because I'll guarantee you, you have tons of bad fat, mm -hmm. which is your cholesterol and your <coughs> plaque in your brain and all the other garbage. Mm -hmm. Where's your good fat coming from? Mm -hmm. You know, I like fish. I could eat fish. My husband doesn't like fish, so I really don't cook it because he doesn't like it but I put oil in every single thing I do even if I have a day without oil I'll put some hemp oil in my tea at night with my magnesium to help me sleep <laughs> and I sleep like a kitten because I'm helping my body understand that that stress load and the biggest thing I think Dr. Duro is listening mm -hmm. you know we people get symptoms but we don't listen we just try to medicate it away L listen to the symptoms that your body's trying to tell you 100 percent and when you're not when you are going along in life and things are okay that's fine but as soon as you hit something and it's consistent continual you better make note of that and, and that's that's the fault of uh, the individual well, and they're, understanding they're not the in picking that up yes and understanding the industry because the industry has to label something as a dis-ease so therefore a drug can fix it Restless leg, menopause, or many of these things are not diseases. They're, they're, it's not a disease. It's a symptom. Your body's just saying, hey, mm -hmm. I'm out of balance. Mm -hmm. I need a little of this. I need a little of that. Well, unfortunately, your medical doctor has never been taught fine-tuning of the machine. He's only been taught to drug, burn, cut, to fix it, <laughs> to maintain <laughs> the machine on what he knows, mm -hmm. which, like I said, and I always say, if I'm ever in a major accident, yes, I, I want to be at a top hospital with top surgeons, and that's what a hospital should be about but how awesome would it be to have some intravenous arnica going into my body so that my swelling and the bleeding in my brain and other parts of my body isn't going to kill me isn't going to put me into shock that's the beauty that could be but again you have to understand the western doctor has been only taught one thing but mm -hmm. you can own who you are in that and just with simple things and you know i'm so passionate about it because little things like I was talking to the receptionist when I was waiting to come on the air about my garden in the backyard and I was showing her she says well my husband juices every day I said that's awesome you could put a little six by six box in your backyard throw some kale some chard some spinach in there you'll never go to the grocery store and buy greens again you know how much money you save yourself and you know where it's coming from mm -hmm. when I pick my greens I take them in the kitchen I fill my sink with an alkaline water and I pour trace minerals in that water and make it rich and I stick all my greens in there and I just let them soak it up because where's those trace minerals going to go when I eat them? Mm -hmm. In my body, naturally, sure. just the way. Now, I do modify my dirt, but that's what's wrong with our food today is a lot of the soil of America is depleted, so we're not getting mm -hmm. the magnesium. We're not getting the things to calm and balance the body. We're not getting the good fats, we're, and therefore we're not sleeping. But things when you're looking at financial anxiety or things like that, that's an external or, or an Ill, illness or something, that's when you got to rev up those things and, and take a little extra. You know, mm -hmm. make sure you're getting a little bit of... Um, yeah, nutritional I, support. I used to eat dirt when I was a little girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful for the trace minerals. And for both so of you, my brother. <laughs> you know, eating dirt or modifying dirt, our listeners are going, wait a second, what are we doing here? So when you say modify dirt, eat dirt, modify dirt. All how, I'd say, because I have a raised that? bed garden. So uh -huh. I have a raised bed garden, so I can control that dirt. I, mm -hmm. I can put into that dirt, like I just got finished yesterday, which was a, my dirty day, um, putting wood ash out of my outside fireplace into my garden. Mm -hmm. So I took all my wood ash and put it in there, you know, and, and it just... What's, I don't know. I know I'm wood ash that would when you be... burn when you burn your wood. Yes. Natural wood, not a fire log or anything fake, but yeah. natural wood, which I burn in my outside fireplace. That wood ash you put into the ground because it has those nutrients. Mm -hmm. And I have you know fish. Down to the basics. Exactly. And you and you just, know you're taking me back to your to seventy exactly. years. Exactly. And that's where uh -oh, we need to go, ate. Barb. <coughs> that's where we need to oh, go. I'm I think she ate you. wood ash too. Uh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. My, Dirt and wood ash. Yeah. The, we used to burn wood in the fireplace, yes. and my mother would, and my mother especially would take the ash and sprinkle yep. it in the dirt. Yep. 
Oh, and we sprinkle oh, it on my plants. That's going to be on your food. And, well, no, we grew lettuce <laughs> and tomatoes, yes. carrots. Yes. It's cabbage. wonderful for bug con- uh, for pest control, and that's the way it is. Because I look at it this way: that food, as simple as that food is in my garden, that I that I eat, I'm putting that into my body. I, I respect my body that way. And, and you know, it's funny because I, I guess when I go out and I talk to people, sometimes they, they're so de- detached from that knowing what their food is or what their that need is or listening to their body when they're stressed I'll just take some you know something p.m. to sleep and I'll just take this five cups of coffee in the morning and now my adrenals are blown so one of the ones in that box I have is one to consider is the anxiety and nervousness one mm-hmm. because of that because when you are stressed out all the time what's the first gland that's gonna go your adrenals Adrenaline. exactly mm-hmm. and you're gonna burn that out and then your every single thing uh, cascades off the next mm-hmm. so Magnesium, believe it or not, being this one simple thing somebody can do to calm and deal with anxiety on a natural level can also support so many other functions that it's a simple way to start. In the hospital, the magnesium level, we measure it all the time. Mm -hmm. And even some of the cardiologists will give you intravenous magnesium when you come in and they think you might have a heart problem. And even when we get levels that are too high or out of the range and they're on the high side, it doesn't bother us. We don't attempt to to get those numbers down. But when you say magnesium, some people are thinking, wait a second, wait a second. Sounds like a metal and I'm going to get some heavy metal and be magnetized TSA. They will awesome. stop me, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no, magnesium, and the one I like is the powdered one mm-hmm. by a company called a Natural Vitality, and it's called Calm, and it's powder. Mm-hmm. And if you take too much, if you're taking more than your body needs, mm-hmm. you'll be sitting on the toilet. Oh, okay. So the beauty of that like is... Milk and magnesium. Exactly. And the beauty of that kind of is, it's so simple, is when I was working and I would have those weeks like, you know, mega cell week or whatever it was, I might go from a half a teaspoon of magnesium at night to needing three teaspoons a night before it even touched me because I was stressed, because I was running my engine that hard. I needed that magnesium just to relax me. Because think about it. What's the biggest, I personally feel one of the biggest stresses is people don't sleep. People don't go to bed at night and their body relaxes and their body sleeps. They don't. They're tossed, they turn, they do. So their body's never healing and it's never repairing. The mind is never calming down and relaxing. So that's a huge part of looking at how do we do this? Something mm-hmm. like the magnesium, that's why I like it to do it at night oh, yeah. because it does relax the whole body. Yes, you know, maybe I want some valerian root in there to relax this or some kava kava because I hear it helps with this, which are different herbs you can get at a health food store. You can make your own concoction. All I have to do is a little chamomile tea, a little bit of um, magnesium, and mm, out I go. Wow. Really? Oh, if, and if I want if I want a coma, then I add a little chewable GABA. If you want to a that. coma. <laughs> well, sometimes you need that coma. You know, you need just need to be out. And then I do GABA because GABA helps to shut their brain down too. Yeah. But G- again, it's G A V A G A B A, and it's chewable is the one I like. And um, it's another thing you could get at Sprouts or Whole Foods or Vitamin Shop. It's available at your local health food stores. I have it at my house because I used to use it for anxiety. Mm-hmm. If I had a customer walk into the store, and Um, In fact, I had a gentleman one time, he was in the car waiting while his wife came in to pick up a product, and he came in and said, you know, we need to leave now because we need to leave. Mm -hmm. And I I had the sample for her to take to him. So I said, here, why don't you just chew these? And I gave her a couple Mm -hmm. of him uh, to, uh, to, to chew. Within a few minutes, he was like, wow. I really feel a lot more calm. But if you read what GABA does in the brain, it calms the neurotransmitters down. So when the body's freaking out and it doesn't know what to do, it calms the brain down so the brain can go, okay, I understand. And again, what's GABA? GABA is an amino acid. So if we are not getting the right proteins and nutrients, we're not getting the GABA and the taurine and the other things needed for the brain and the body. So therefore, do I have anxiety or am I GABA deficient? I actually use GABA in my in my life. Um, I have a son who's epileptic and I have a dog who's epileptic. Mm -hmm. And we use um, GABA and and CBDs and it it works very well for maintaining them for being seizure free. Mm -hmm. So again, understanding there's a mechanism wrong in that car. My son fell off a block wall when he was a little boy and the doctor, the neurologist told me he had scar tissue in his brain. Mm -hmm. And so when the brain was trying to fix this, it would hit that scar tissue. I gave him a homeopathic, but the bottom line is, as he explained to me, is everybody can have a seizure, anyone can have a seizure it's about a threshold anybody can have anxiety it's about a threshold what things are missing in my body that that threshold is getting lower and lower and I'm becoming more susceptible to having 
whatever that episode might be. And that's where we want to look at, as I always say, body mechanics. Look at the mechanics of who you are and what you're doing. It doesn't have to be fancy. It can be very, very simple. I'm adding some magnesium. I'm adding some greens. I'm adding simple things into my diet, making sure when I go to bed at night I'm actually sleeping and not medicated sleeping because that's not sleeping. That's another drug-induced state in the body. So something like the Calms Magnesium can be done with a pharmaceutical. The King Bio makes a formula called Sleep that can be done with pharmaceuticals to help wean the body so that's needed less and less. But again, understanding what is the symptom the body's crying. So magnesium is better taken at night? Well, if you I had somebody that had spasmodic issues, they probably would take it two or three times a day maybe. But I like it at night for the purpose of what I'm using it for. If Let's say if I had, um, maybe I had MS and I had a lot of muscle spasms. I might do it first thing in the morning and I might do it at lunch. Mm -hmm. You know, I do it at night because I like the effects of what it does in the body and when I'm relaxing and healing and repairing. So that would be somebody's choice. Let's say three teaspoons a day was your maximum on the stools, on the bowels, affecting your, your bowels. Then, so you take two teaspoons, maybe take a half a teaspoon in the morning and a cup of tea and you know, two teaspoons at night. You could take well, it in the middle of the day. I've used it for my husband for acute blood pressure spikes. It'll well, bring I, the blood pressure I, right down. I take, I take my magnesium in the morning. Mm -hmm. And is it a tablet or is it a capsule or is it's, it a liquid or powder? A, it's a capsule. Okay. One of the rubber, like, it's not a, it's not a hard. No, it's, soft gel. It's a soft gel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, it's all what's simple and easy for you to do. You want it as clean and as pure and as simple as possible. Like I said, mm -hmm. so, you know, most magnesiums in dietary form are buffered so they don't affect your bowels. Because most people won't tell you when they take them, I'm taking a tablet or a capsule magnesium that they get a loose stool. But a powdered magnesium, and again, it's the form of which the magnesium is, a citrate, is absorbed in the body differently. So again, it's mechanics. And I think that's where that good basic chemistry comes in and understanding this is more digestible or assimilates in the body better than this. They're just using this because it's cheap. A lot of calciums come you know, as an oyster shell source as opposed to a <coughs> vegetable source because this is cheap, but it's also very hard to digest because we don't eat that. It's not something we consume. But again, it's understanding what you're taking in um, from the grocery store or the health food store. Question them. It's just like anybody else. You go buy a TV, you question, what's this, that? You go into your health food store, ask them, hey, look, it, I'm looking for something this way or that way. And if you don't find it, then you have the ability to contact me and I, I can say yeah, call Kim. <laughs> and you can contact me and I can help you go through that. You know, and that's what I do. I empower people to understand it. I've had people that I've created a relationship, a working relationship with. They'll call me at the health food store and say, Kim, I got two different kinds of things in front of me. Which one do I want? Because go into any store, it's overwhelming. There's too many choices. Boy, overwhelming. There's too many choices. And you know what? Just because it says natural on the label doesn't mean it is. Mm -hmm. So go for what's simple, what's for right for you, and if you don't get an answer from the person at the store, take down the name of that company and call the company themselves. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, why do I want to take Floridex's iron? Because I'll tell you why you want to take Floridex's iron, because it's a plant-based, it's not going to constipate you, and it's going to change your life. It can come in a liquid and it comes in a tablet, very convenient. It will not destroy the gut. Listen to a lady the other day talking, oh, my doctor told me to take it and it makes me constipated, the one they give me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not a good thing because what does constipation do? Builds a toxicity load up in the body, therefore, again, internally stresses the system. So we want to look at it, but there's a, and if you, like I said, you have that in your community, that's what these stores should offer you. If they don't, then call the companies themselves and ask them because those companies, they, a lot of them have 20, 30, 40 years experience and a lot of research and they will answer your questions. And if they can't answer your question, where does that gelatin come from? From your gelatin capsule? Yeah. I don't know. What we're all up against, though, is the is television and well, you got and, unplugged and the from media. that. No, yeah. but but every day, if you try to watch the news, every commercial is a drug commercial. I know. And so you, you know, we are really up against the wall on this. And you know, I'm a I'm a scientist. I'm a doctor. I go evidence based medicine. You know, I follow what is out there, the standard of care. And you know, still there's so much that we don't know. Uh, but the propaganda is being put out there by the other side to make sure that you know their product, whatever it is, is first on the list that you're going to take and that's an unfortunate part came about what's going on it's yeah. all it's all money yeah yeah and 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 people i believe we have way more power 
and they are telling us we don't have that power, but we do have that power. And if we do question and we do with our dollars, it can make a difference. But I think people are so depressed and not sleeping and medicated that they just they just don't care. And I see it because I look at it I look at life because being at the wellness center the way I was, that's my passion. You know, I, I watched my grandmother turn her life around. I, I watched, you know, I've watched so many people do it with doing the simplest little things. And it's not, I need, you're not deficient in a drug. I'll guarantee you you're deficient in a mineral or an amino acid or a fat or a nutrient. Your body is telling you help. If you choose to do that, that's great. I choose to know who I am when I'm 120 years old, riding my quad across my property, my mm -hmm. hemp farm. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, Kim, we need to take a break, but we'll be right back. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. Welcome back to the Senior Hour. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. And we're speaking with Kim Wall, who's an alternative medicine advocate. Mm -hmm. Boy, I, I call myself a body mechanic. A body mechanic. Yep, because there's a lot of different tools to help somebody balance themselves and a lot of times they don't know those tools and I'm here to make sure that when the body says check engine light we actually check mm. well I need my tires checked real bad because I think I'm a little low <laughs> Gotta add some air to me here. I thought you, I thought you rolled in here a little off today. But. That's right. You know, that, old, that, that fourth wheel is flat. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm, inter I'm interested in that you were talking out about mood and the, the medication or whatever you call it for, is it mood enhancement? Well, what I brought is, is I brought, I, I, I contacted King Bio and asked them if they would send us some products so we could do a little sampling here. And they sent me four. They sent me the Addictiplex, they sent me the good mood, or the mood changes, they, they sent me the stress, and the anxiety and nervousness. So the good mood one, it does deal with any kind of feelings of um, self-condemning, disgust, worthless, lack of self-confidence, changes in the mood of joy, sadness. Um, a hard desire, maybe an inability to commit to something. So it has remedies in there that deal with the mentals as well as possibly physical symptoms that can be associated with mood behavior. And when we look at some of the homeopathics that are in there, one of the remedies in there, and I've talked about it before in here, is pulsatilla, which is a windflower. But we use it a lot of times for women, for depression, when a woman's given up. Um, you know, she doesn't even care about her family anymore, and she's just so weepy and whiny. That was, and I can say that because that was my very first remedy. Um, it can be very grounding and very empowering in bringing somebody back into balance and giving somebody mm -hmm. back that focus. So this remedy has that in there as one of those formulas, as well as um, uh, lachesis, which is another one where people lash out verbally or they're really moody and they're up and they're down. Um, that remedy can, again, help balance. So this formulation, which is water-based, can be sprayed in the mouth under the tongue or sprayed in the air and inhaled olfactory or topical and you would do it three times a day three sprays three times a day if somebody was having an episode in a moment they could take it at that moment because it, then they're telling their body stop it hmm. calm down balance so as you do it your episodes would become less and less severe and farther and farther apart so where you might come to a situation where you might have exploded you actually might be able to count to ten and be able to respond and the beauty would be in that moment would be to have the spray if you needed it, but you could spray it into a bottle of water and take it with you if you were going into a tough situation or something where you felt that. But again, that would be something you would do three times a day. Then you would evaluate it after the end of a month. How do I feel? You know what? I feel really good. You know what? I'm going to take it twice a week. I feel awesome. I'm going to take it once a week. I still feel good. I'm going to take it once a month. Hey, you know, I don't remember the last time I took that stuff. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what about stress? Um, the uh, one that I brought for stress is called stress control, and that per is one of my personal favorites. That's one I say every single human being should have on them at all times, because it has arnica, which we know can stop ble bleeding in the brain and trauma and shock, but it has Bach flowers in there we talked about last time mm -hmm. for the stress, the overwhelm, the shock, the trauma, and it has the homeopathic remedies as well. I like it because it has the Bach rescue remedy flower essences in there, but it's water-based and not alcohol. Mm -hmm. 
so anybody can use it. And it has the homeopathics in there that are going to deal with the stress, the trauma, the pain, the bleeding, the shock, whatever it might be. But somebody could also use it if they were under a lot of stress because if you're under stress, you might not be sleeping or doing and that has remedies in there that would affect the sleep as well. So it could be used by any, and if you were on a pharmaceutical, there's no counterindications. I always tell people with homeopathy, you feel you need a spray, use it. Your bo listen to your body, but at least take it three times a day, but you could take it up to every 15 minutes if you were in, a, in an episode where you needed to really um, help somebody or somebody was in a critical situation. But the anxiety and nervousness, which is another one I brought, again, could be done therapeutically, but it could also be just done acutely if they were having an episode in that moment and it's something they could spray it, like I said, every five, 10 minutes and they wouldn't have to worry about overdosing or being sick or mm -hmm. worst case scenario, if they did that for you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes and it didn't work, then it wasn't the right remedy and we, we'd try something else. Hmm. So, so I got a whole box of goodies there, and um, also too, just to let anybody out there know if they want to, um, I'm actually going to do a lecture out here in the valley on um, the 26, I think it is, of uh, July, at the SCV Vitamin Shop up in Stevenson Ranch, and um, the lecture is um, at six o'clock. Maybe it's, yeah, I think it's at 6 o'clock. She hasn't sent me all the info on it yet. But if you, I'm going to do it on blood type. So if anybody would like to come out and meet me and talk to me, I will be there and um, answer some questions. Like I said, you know, dig into it if there's something. And again, you know, if the senior center's out here or the, or the, the mother's groups or the PTA or any of those want to have some of this information and, and just have a nice discussion on health, invite me. I'd love to come play. I'd love to come play and educate and, and spread the news because I believe we have a lot more power if we just know how to apply it. Okay, now how do we get in touch with you? My yeah. phone number is 818-683-4876 and my email is educator at kingbio.com. So that was 818-683-4876? Yes. Okay. And that's kingbio.com. Kim Wall, always great information. Love coming here and playing with you guys. Like I said, it's, it's my heart passion. And, and um, people just need to know it can be very simple. You just have to look. Simplicity is amazing. I have to try to find it, and that's what we've That's what here. we're here to share. That's what we're that's doing, right. doing today. That's right. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for being on the show again. Anytime. Thank you. We are sponsored by Advanced Audiology and SCV and Home Care. Listen to us next week on the Senior Hour. Now go and enhance your quality of life.